Hey guys, it's Taylor here, and today this is um, I'm going to show you the first part of my PHP crash course, and this is setting up a development environment. As you may know, you need some sort of server setup to debug PHP, and what I like to use is WAMP Server, as it basically stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL, um, PHP. So that's basically what it stands for, and you want to head over to www.montserver.com slash en. You must add the slash en as the site is by default French, so you must go to slash en. So once you click on that link, you can see a, a little kind of side link here, latest release. If you click on this, um, you should see it takes you to the downloads page, and depending on if your operating system is 32-bit or 64-bit um, download I've won but make sure if you're using a 32-bit OS you don't download 64-bit as it won't run so I'm gonna go ahead and download this and basically um, whilst um, I just get this starting off to download I'll just go over kind of a few kind of um, tips for PHP um, well basically PHP is a scripting language which is used very commonly on the web it is used by massive companies such as Facebook and YouTube so you can basically use it to make anything from user logins to like stuff like Facebook social networking sites so it's pretty good stuff really um, I'm currently using it to develop a kind of user system um, on my website teengamers.co.uk where you can post updates and all sorts of stuff like that it's a gaming site so it's kind of directed towards game development and games so it's a bit different but that's currently in the works um, this is almost downloaded, so once it's downloaded, I'll go through all kind of the setup stages and stuff. So I'll go ahead and run this, and we can go through the installation. Okay, so once you run the setup, it'll come up with the setup wizard. Just click next and accept the agreement, and that should be fine. You can change this to wherever you like. So that thing already exists, so I'll quickly just delete that. Sorry about that, it's just reinstalled it just to show you what it does, so hopefully now that's deleted, yep. So I'll create a distro icon and we're good to install it. Um, one warning about uh, WAMP servers, obviously it runs on port 80 so if you're using something like Skype you'll have to disable that as it will be using port 80 which WAMP server needs to operate so just wait for this to install then we can go over configuration and all, all the stuff like that Okay, so it's basically choose your default browser, so you can just use that default one they put there. As you can see, it's created the disk one. Um, this you don't really need to bother about, um, as I haven't really got much knowledge about this, but if you're using a real web server, this is all set up, but otherwise, just leave that as it is. And then we can launch one server. So as you can see in the taskbar, this has come up and it is currently offline. This is fine for development purposes and basically um I'm going to go over a quick kind of PHP tutorial at the same time just to show you how it works. So first of all, uh, the www directory is where you store all your internet documents, so like all the HTML files, PHP files, 
so that's where we'll store that so I'll just open that just to make sure it's ready um, as you can see there's already a default index and test MySQL PHP scripts in there but I'll just go ahead and create a quick script You can do this as well. If you don't have Dreamweaver, it doesn't matter. Use anything such as Notepad, but just make sure you save it as a .php file. So if I go ahead and create a new PHP form, just delete this default stuff and this PHP tags, and basically I'm going to use a quick echo. And then after we've done this, I can save it to the desktop. I'll just do test.php. And then if I place it in here, you can then see that I can go into my browser, type 127.0.0.1, which is another name for localhost, and then test.php. So as you can see it works and if you view the source you can see that it comes up with that. And for security reasons it obviously doesn't show the PHP as people can like hack in, hijack stuff. So okay, anyway that's um how you set up a development environment. The next video will be going over um uh kind of PHP basics such as few simple fu functions, variables, if statements, while statements. So I hope this has helped you get to grips with setting up an environment for your PHP needs. Thanks for watching and make sure you watch the others.